Now, Eyewitness Sports 4 presents your best source for high school sports. New Mexico Game Day, sponsored by McDonald's. Oh, yeah. Good evening and welcome to New Mexico Game Day. The state basketball tournament is underway. Ladies first. The girls open the first round tonight. We'll get to those highlights in just a moment. The boys start their play tomorrow. But first, let's start with a question. There's been some talk by coaches about expanding the state tournament and just letting every team in. What do you think? If you think every team should be allowed into the state tourney, text NM1 to 45995. If you think it's fine as is, text NM2 to 45995. We'll have the results later in the show. But first, say hello to the Rio Grande Boys basketball team. Michael Sanchez will toss up the jump ball tonight. Take it away. We'll start with number one, El Dorado hosting El Magordo. Let's do it. El Dorado looks tough to beat this year. Eagles playing deep. That's Kayla Dobson with the steal. She leaves it for Tara Crown. And she converts. Crown's not done on our highlight tape yet, though. This time she gets the ball and goes off the glass two. Not even close. 61 to 18. Top rank El Dorado moves on. Number two seed, Sandia, at home against Oñate. Matadors moving the ball. Elena Velasquez, three ball, corner pocket, nothing but net, looking good. Sandia showing off a little inside game as well. Ebony Walker for two, and Sandia rolls 61-36. They face Valley or Hobbs next. Let's find out who. Valley taking on Hobbs. And remember how that El Dorado game was a blowout? Yeah, this one was too. Ashley Martinez from long range. She gets it to fall. And then Valley out in transition. Angel Reyes lays it up and in for two. One of the top scorers in the state. Some of these first round matchups are brutal. Valley 60, Hobbs 19. Cibola breaking out the big board for the postseason. Facing Rio Grande. How about Monique Macias for three? Got it. She finished with 16 points. Ravens up at the half. Cibola on the break. Amber Battle will pull up Pop. Cedula pulls this one out 52 to 50. Defending state champ Cueva at home against Mayfield. We're going to see some strong moves inside by Marissa Kogan. She's a good one. The rebound, the put back. And how about a little post to post involving Kogan as well? Kogan to Tiahana Higgs. And Bears take it 52 to 46. It's Cueva and El Dorado at the San Ana Star Center Tuesday morning. 9.45. Other scores tonight. Clovis beat Cleveland 56-52. They'll face Gallup next week who beat Manzano in a close one. 53-50. Las Cruces more than doubled up Carlsbad. They'll face Cibola next week. In Class 4A, number one Kirtland Central at home against Santa Teresa. Nice gym up there in the four corners. Been there a lot. Nice rotation by the Lady Broncos. Inside to Danielle Murdoch. Kirtland Central is better than Santa Teresa. 68-29. Keep the band tuned up. We are staying in the four corners. Number two, Shiprock and Taos. <coughs> the Lady Chieftains go inside to Arnisha Begay. And they are all one-sided tonight. 47 to 30. Shiprock, your final. Capital made the trip to Albuquerque to face Volcano Vista and their former coach, Lisa Villarreal. Shiler Malone gets the hook shot to drop. <coughs> and the Hawks on the press. They steal the ball. And Miranda Barella comes in for the hoop, 59-39. Volcano Vista advances to Tuesday morning's game at the pit. <coughs> Excuse me, Artesia and Del Norte start of the third quarter. Artesia on the run. Hannah Blue going coast to coast. Del Norte with an answer, though. <coughs> Maricel Medina off the dribble, lays it up and in for two. 49-36 final. Del Norte will face Kirtland at the pit Tuesday night. Other 4A scores. Los Alamos edged out St. Pius and Española Valley beat Silver. So it's district rivals Los Alamos and Española in the next round. That should be a good one. Roswell, a winner over Academy. Roswell gets Volcano Vista next and Piedra Vista moves on to face district rival Shiprock on Tuesday afternoon at the pit. Let's talk some boys basketball. With me right now, Rio Grande boys basketball coach Sean Jimenez. Thanks for joining us tonight. JP, thank you for having us. A little token of our appreciation. Uh, Jared Barunda, one of our seniors, has a couple t-shirts for you. Yeah, that's very nice. Uh, these t-shirts, uh, that's a fantastic gift, but they uh, I'm not going to look as nice as your team does. I mean, <laughs> looking sharp, uh, class act you're bringing in here. Let's talk a little bit about your team. This is your first year in charge of the Rio Grande program. Has it been everything that you expected? Oh, absolutely. You know what? It's been a 
pleasure to come back to my alma mater and coach these seniors here and some freshmen and sophomores on our team and some juniors and you know what the parents the administration the community has been so supportive and it's absolutely an awesome experience for me you play at Hobbs tomorrow you have lit up the scoreboard with your team running up and down the floor. Hobbs is a team that traditionally likes to run. Yeah. What's the final score going to be tomorrow? 91 90, something like that? It's going to be 91 80, Real Grand Ravens. All right, I like your enthusiasm. What's the deal, though? You're wearing a uh, Hobbs t shirt to practice? What's that all about? <laughs> Yesterday we had a little drill, and during the drill I took off my Real Grand Raven t shirt, and underneath I had uh, the Hobbs Eagle shirt just to get these guys mad and get them pumped up, and it worked because they came at us really hard. The coaches were playing the players, so it was actually a good little motivation tool that I had planned to pull out. Now, your dad played for Hobbs. Who's your dad going to be pulling for? His alma mater or his son? Oh, blood. <laughs> <laughs> right, so he's going for Real Grand High School in this run. You're one of three teams in the state to beat top-ranked El Dorado this year. What's the secret? Share it with everyone that's out there trying to beat him. <laughs> well, I don't know if there's a secret. Coach Sanchez is an unbelievable coach. He's got an unbelievable team, and there's really no secret. You, secret. you just got to play hard against those guys and play smart, because if you don't, then they'll pick you apart. All right, we're going to talk some more basketball in just a minute. Stick around for more basketball highlights and scores, plus the answer to the text question of the night. Welcome back. Santa Fe Indian School has some crazy fans. And uh, active, too. Santa Fe Indian School taking on Newcomb. Miranda Medina gets it inside. How about some more Medina for the show? Uh, you can never have enough Medina. 64-43, the final total. Santa Fe Indian School, a winner. Number one, Portal says no problem tonight. The state's leading scorer is out of the tournament. Roxanne Silva and Socorro were ousted by St. Michael's. 58-38. Threw a winner at home in West Las Vegas. Doubles up Hatch. The Lady Dons are going to be tough to eliminate. I'm telling you now. Pawake over Ruidoso, 52-37, and Lovington wins with ease. Hope Christian goes on the road to win in overtime, 60-56. Vanessa Grover had 32 points in the victory. With me again, the Rio Grande Boys basketball coach, Sean Jimenez. Now, I know you're a first-year head coach, but I want to get your thoughts on the fact of the state tournament, the text question. What do you think about expanding it? letting every team in, getting rid of the district tournaments. I think absolutely. We should let everybody in. We beat up on each other for about a month and a half in district. Get rid of the district tournament. You have all 23 teams in the state tournament. You started during district tournament week, and everybody's happy. They're in it, and everybody has a shot to win it. And you've heard there's a lot of support out there for it, too. Absolutely. You know what? I talked to Coach Dale, who's the uh, associate head coach for the Lobos, and he actually likes that idea. He's the one who was telling me about it, and he wants to go to the NMA and talk to him about it, about doing it all-inclusive, because he's from the state of Indiana, and that's how they do basketball out there. So I think it's a great idea. And real quickly, what kind of weapons do you have on your team that we're going to hear about tomorrow night against Hobbs? You know what? We're, we're, we're a loaded team. I really think so. We're a very scary team. we got Mikey Ortega, Jared Barunda, Jalen Spragans, Chris Payne. I mean, a lot of guys on our team where we have Brian Twitty that can do multiple things, get to the rim, shoot the, bu shoot the ball. And you know what? We're just a team of 12 players that are going to come hard every single night and fight hard. Well, good luck tomorrow night in Hobbs. And thanks a bunch for those T-shirts. And your team is looking sharp. Thank Last you. Sack. We asked you earlier tonight what you think about expansion of the state tournament. And you don't agree with Coach here. You think it's fine as is. You want to keep it that way. And for your state basketball fans, we've got you covered. We'll have New Mexico game day specials next week starting Tuesday night. We'll have more highlights than you are going to find anywhere else. That's going to do it for another edition of New Mexico Game Day. Keep your ear for your high school sports action. Have a good one.